What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today I'm going to be doing my spoiler free review of Justice League. It is finally here guys. The wait is over. But before I get to that, I am showcasing my brand new cow from my buddy Ryan Eaton. Ryan actually sculpted this beautiful hybrid looking Batman cow on a live cast of yours truly. Ryan and I got on a project a couple of years ago where I sent him my live cast and he sculpted a beautiful Dawn of Justice cow. He had the live cast lying around and he just got to work making this beautiful hybrid cow. It really resonated with me so I wanted to pick up a copy from him and it's absolutely beautiful. I eventually do want to put this towards a hybrid Batfleck cosplay. So I will leave the link down below for Ryan's Instagram. You can go check out his other amazing works. The guy is an absolute talent bag. This is made out of urethane. It's about 27 degrees outside. So I am loaded up with paper towels to stop any bat leakage whatsoever. And yes, I know I am sporting a very dirty moustache. That is because last night at the Justice League premiere, Laura was dressed up as Harley Quinn. I was dressed up as Captain Boomerang for old time's sake. Shave the chops off, thought I'd leave the moustache for today before Laura and I fly out to Kuwait next week for the IGN convention. So like I said guys, this is a spoiler free review you do not have to worry about the movie being spoiled. I am going to be doing a spoiler filled discussion with Rui this Saturday in episode 2 of our Geeks and Geek Outs podcast. So Justice League is directed by Zack Snyder with partial directing credit to Joss Whedon as we all know Zack Snyder had to step down due to family reasons and Joss Whedon took over for the remainder of the film up until its release. The film stars Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Ray Fisher, Jason Momoa and Ezra Miller. Now I'm going to be as scarce as I can in terms of the plot because this is a spoiler free review. So the basic premise of the film is after the events of Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, Bruce Wayne has found faith in humanity once again and after the death of Superman it really struck a nerve with him and he wants to recruit a team of metahumans to fight a godlike creature by the name of Steppenwolf that has come to Earth. We also see the introduction of the Mother Boxes. So this film is basically the coming together of the team and Bruce recruiting said members of the Justice League. Now first and foremost I had an absolute blast with this movie. It is a very fun and entertaining film not to mention very funny. There were times when I could tell that that was Joss Whedon comedy put into the film. But first, let's touch on the things that I love most about this film. Now, what I love most was the cast and the acting. The whole team, the whole league brought their absolute A game. Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne and Batman, like he's my favorite Batman and Bruce Wayne of all time. Like I've said in uh, the Geeks and Geekheads podcast, you know, Bale and Keaton will always be my childhood Batman. Uh, but in terms of like the dark brooding monster that is Batman, it's Batfleck all the way. And he seems so much more comfortable as the character in this film. He's really grown into the skin of Bruce Wayne and Batman. His persona has changed big time from Dawn of Justice. You know, he's seen the light. He has faith in humanity restored. He's a lot more funnier in this film this time around. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and Diana Prince. She just nails it each and every time. I have a feeling that there's not much acting required because Gal Gadot just seems like such an amazing and inspirational woman and she absolute kicks us. Jason Momoa as Aquaman, he was exactly how I wanted him to be. However, I don't think he had enough screen time and he deserves so much more compared to the rest of the cast. I wanted to see more of him. I wanted to see more of a setup for the standalone Aquaman movie that'll be coming out at the end of next year. Ray Fisher as Cyborg was just cool, calm, collected and he nailed the character of Cyborg. And hands down, the stealer of the show, Ezra Miller as The Flash. He was quirky, he was funny. He He's the child of the league, you know, he's never done stuff like this before. So everything's new to him, whereas to the rest of the league, exception of Cyborg, he has no idea what he's doing, but at the same time, he does an amazing job. The chemistry between the core cast was so natural. Um, I had a feeling that behind the camera and offset, they were great mates, everyone got along, they all had a good time filming. The camaraderie was great, it didn't feel forced, and by the end of it, you bought into the fact that they're an actual team, and the banter was absolutely amazing by the end of the film. 
The banter and dialogue felt like the DC animated films of Justice League. When they're fighting people and they're just bantering back and forth whilst they're taking down people, that's exactly how it was by the end of the film. And it was just great. It was truly either a comic book or a DC animated film brought to the big screen on celluloid film. Visually, the film is beautiful. It's got that true Zack Snyder feel to it. Zack Snyder really knows how to frame up a shot and how to color a shot. And there were differences that we could see in the different trailers once Joss Whedon had stepped in. And to be honest, they kind of meshed them all together in the final cut of the film. So overall, the acting was absolutely brilliant. The actors knew exactly how to nail their characters. They felt comfortable within each of their skins. That sounds really bad. Now let's get to the gripes of the film. Now we all know that the main villain in this film is Steppenwolf. Now to me, um, DC films are really struggling in terms of their villains and the whole wanted mass destruction thing. It just seems to be a reoccurring theme and I just don't think it was necessary in this film. And to be honest, I felt that Steppenwolf was sort of a disposable villain. I didn't buy into him. Um, and to be honest, the CGI wasn't really convincing, which made it a little bit harder to believe and kind of invest in his character. For the most part, he's just spewing out Shakespearean quotes whilst he's fighting the Justice League. Look, I totally get it. We do have to kind of get through him to get to Darkseid. Dark Darkseid is a character that DC really have to hit the nail right on the head with. And honestly, I felt this film could have been a lot longer, like, you know, a little over two and a half hours. Because you got to think about it, it's Bruce recruiting all these members of the Justice League, we're also introducing and setting up new characters, and I felt that when those scenes were happening, they were way too rushed. They were just trying to cram 10 pounds of flour into a 5 pound bag. I don't know what the restrictions were with the running times and why they were so restricted with cutting it down to 2 hours. But yeah, I would have been happy if there was an extra half an hour knocked onto the final cut of the film. Who knows, we may see an extended cut, fingers crossed. They did it with Dawn of Justice and they did it with Suicide Squad. So why the hell not Justice League? Now another good point that Laura brought up was the score. Now Laura is studying to become a music teacher. Music is her life. I mean this is a woman that can play the piano and the trumpet at the same time. So she has a very good ear for music. And we both agreed that the score was a bit of a letdown which absolutely sucks because it's Danny Elfman. I mean Danny Elfman is the man. It just felt very underwhelming. It didn't really have any themes that you could remember in your head and hum to. Granted there were throwbacks to Danny Elfman's original Batman 89 score, John Williams' Superman theme and Hans Zimmer's Wonder Woman theme with that guitar riff. I felt the score should have been a lot more grander and operatic to go with the gothic tone of the film. So overall all guys I had a really fun time with the film the main part that I wanted DC to nail with this film was of course our core cast our core lead because it's all about them at the end of the day surrounding it there is a bit of a mess but there is so much potential there is so much fan service and Easter eggs in this film there are two post credit scenes obviously I'm not going to get to that until Rui and I have our discussion in a couple of days time and for the film to digest worldwide so guys overall I highly recommend just Justice League. It is a fantastic time in the movies. It is a very funny film. It's a very serious film, but it balances it out perfectly. The acting is superb. All the actors know their characters back to front. Uh, even though there is sort of a disposable villain in the film and the wanted mass destruction, typical DC template is still lingering there. And Batfleck just keeps getting better and better. I really do hope Affleck stays on as the character for a few more movies. So regardless of a disposable and forgettable villain, a kind of lackluster score, I'm going to be giving Justice League three and a half geeks out of five. Trust me when I say this guys they absolutely nailed the Justice League as their own just there is a bit of a shitstorm surrounding it that's all. Obviously I can't say any more and I'm so desperate to but Rui and I are going to be doing our spoiler filled talk in a couple of days time and then we'll be releasing that a couple of days later. So guys when you have seen Justice League please drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the acting, the league itself, Steppenwolf, the story? Now guys, thank you so much for your overwhelming response on the Flash custom collectible figure. I'm actually halfway through the tactical suit Batfleck figure from Jack Pacific as we speak. No real major customization. We're going to pimp him out and put him back in his little slot box. So I will have that video up by next week. Then Laura and I are up to Kuwait on the Wednesday. So that is going to be an absolute amazing experience. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. Enjoy Justice League. Hope you're well. Hope you're happy. Be merry. Be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.